All right, you guys, I'm finally here with my review of my 2020 planner. Um, I am using the Foxy Fix uh, ringed bound planner, and it is the personal size, but you will see that I'm going to be using personal wide inserts on the inside. And this is the, Ro I think it's called like Rowena leather, <laughs> something like that. Um, but it does mark up, so keep that in mind. Um, I got a few scratches here. This is an Ollie clip from Etsy. I'll link their shop down below for you. Um, and then this was in the inside. This is just a plastic um, envelope that you can get from Foxy Fix. And you can just take any type of paper, like scrapbooking paper, like I did right here, and just um, put it right in here in the inside to make any type of <clears throat> dashboard that you might need. Um, I just put this here for some quick information if I need to hurry and jot something down. I just made this, um, I don't even know what to call it, another dashboard um, so that it would look pretty behind this one with the little scalloped edges in the back. This insert here is from So Much Crafting. I just keep track of any school dates. I work in a school and I also teach at a university, so I put all those dates there. Um, you're going to be seeing a lot of My Summer Touch inserts, so, oh, sorry. <laughs> but um, here I'm just, this is the yearly tracker. I'm just keeping track of some health things. I have a goal to get better in 2020 with some health, um, some workout, which as you can see, I haven't done very well. <laughs> this is the <clears throat> yearly in the vertical list. Um, I just put future dates um, in the front here and then put them on my monthlies when the time comes. And then these here, these dividers, I'll link their shop down below. Um, but I love these dividers and then um, you can get these little tabs separately. I just have monthly, weekly, um, lists, work, and home. And <clears throat> I got the clear ones because, I don't know, I'm just trying to go a little more simpler um, in 2020 this year. So at the beginning of my monthly, I just have a gratitude section. And then um, I have a list of personal to-dos and work to-dos for January. And then these are my monthlies from So Much Crafting. I just keep um, when my invoices are due, when I have doctor's appointments, um, zone cleaning for each week. Um, when I'm going out of town, that sort of thing. That's what a blank one looks like. And then we'll go into my weeklies. So these are from My Summer Touch and they kind of mimic a little bit of the Hobonichi look. Um, and I love it. I love the timed here. I kept three spots at the top to do my top three for the day. Um, there's a whole bunch of space here to do your daily to-dos. I put my workouts here, my meal plan for the week here, and then any to-dos that don't have a specific day will just go here on the side. And I just think these are really unique. Um, she has, My Summer Touch has really unique inserts, very functional. Um, I love her shop. And then going into my dailies here, these are also from My Summer Touch. I just keep track of my day hourly here. This is kind of like more of an overview hourly of the week. And then this is more like I, you know, break down my hours and get my to-dos done, work to-dos, my workout for the day, and the meal for the day. Here, I just keep my inbox so it's just a running to-do list. And um, as I do my weeklies, I'll pull this out. I do have it cut. Um, and I will take anything from this list and put it on my weeklies. And so I just made it like a fold out so I can keep um, my list going. This, I can't remember where this is from, but if you want to know, go ahead and message me in, down below and I will get that for you. And then some more dailies. And then I have these dailies are actually really unique as well. Um, these are from my summer touch. Sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. So if I sniffle or cough, that's why. Um, here is my top three section. You can put a daily routine. So things that you need to get done throughout the day. Um, you can put your breakfast, lunch, dinner ideas here. 
And then anything you need to get done in the morning, afternoon, evening, or you could do it timed, um, whichever way you want to do it. Those are really unique. Next is my list section. So I have a weekly review section, um, a daily review, a mind sweep, cleaning routine. Um, I have a monthly cleaning list, which I don't really use anymore. Home maintenance that you could um, do in each season. I have a packing list because we all need packing lists. Um, I have an order tracker. This is from Foxy Fix. And I have my weekly reset, which I can do a separate video on, but these are all things I'd like to get done on Sundays. These are just tabs from like Staples or Office Max that has um, just a few things that I like to divide up. So that's the weekly reset. My next section is work. Um, I'm a part of a cohort program. So I have videos and certain things for interpreting that I have to get done. And I just check them off as I do them throughout the week. Um, I have some blog ideas some YouTube ideas, which I'm not going to show you because I don't want to spoil it. I have a bill section, which I also don't want to show you because <laughs> private information, but these are from so much crafting. So I just keep track of what we're buying, um, here and then just keep my balance going here on the side. Next is my cleaning section. So this right here which I'm not done with yet um, but this is a routine insert from my summer touch and I really like this because I feel like it's gonna be good to just like okay what do I do each hour of the day like from um, 5 to 7 is my morning routine what do I do these are the things I need to get done each month these are the things that I like to get done on certain days so um, I haven't filled this out yet, but I definitely plan to. Um, these are zone cleaning. I can do a separate video on this. These are just things that I like to get done in each area of my house. So I have my kitchen, my living room, sunroom, bedrooms, bathrooms, and then just some extras whenever I need. And then next is my GTD section, when I, which I don't, oh no, I'm sorry. It's my meal planning section. Um, these are from So Much Crafting. And I just put my weekly meal plan here and then my running grocery list. So this is what a previous week looks like. And then my GTD section means getting things done. And um, I'm really not using it right now. Um, I w did have like certain lists split up, like, um, I don't know, home to do's, work to do's, things to buy, places to go, that sort of thing. And it just, it kind of became overwhelming. So that's why I kind of stuck with my just running to do list, um, inbox that I showed you guys. And that's really been working out well for me. So here is just a, a home organization challenge from A Bowl Full of Lemons on YouTube and on Instagram. She has her own blog and um, Facebook group as well. But this is her challenge of organizing each room in your house in 14 weeks. And then this is the uh, steps for week one of what to do. And then I have week two done as well. Um, but I'm going to write everything out for all the weeks and organize as I get done. And then these, um, oh, let's see. These guys right here, just a plain grid, are from my Summer Touch, and they are printables. So, um, but you can get them printed. I know some people, she has a Facebook group, uh, My Summer Touch, and there are people that will print them for you if you're not a printer person. Um, and yeah, I just have some extra paper here in the back. This, um, what do you call it? Page lifter here is from Foxy Fix. And then in the back, I just keep this notebook for um, just a lot of like scratch notes, um, ideas that I'm having, lists that I don't wanna put 
in my planner, but just ideas that I might have. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm kind of keeping it simple um, this year, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but uh, as I update, I will let you guys know. Loving all my tabs. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.